Hello again and welcome to our January Sightings video report. January has been a particularly stormy month across the British Isles, which has meant that whales and dolphins have been difficult to spot. Nevertheless, we have had a reasonable diversity of sightings during those calmer days, particularly at the start in southern Britain and in most parts during the third week of January. Although seen all around the British Isles, for example Swinney, Caithness, Tobermory on Mull, Langness, Isle of Man, Point Linus, North Anglesey and Ilfracombe, North Devon, harbour porpoises were mostly commonly viewed on the east coast of England from Northumberland and North Yorkshire down to Lincolnshire. Groups of bottlenose dolphins were spotted regularly through January between the Isle of Man and North Anglesey, with up to 30 seen in Laxey Bay in the Isle of Man and at Amloch Port in Anglesey. The species was also seen on several occasions in Northumberland and neighbouring Tyne and Weir, with up to 25 recorded at Blythe and Tynemouth. In both cases, they were probably members of the Cardigan Bay and Moray Firth populations that tend to disperse over wider areas in winter. Elsewhere, bottlenose dolphins were seen at Collinsay in the Inner Hebrides and Jersey and Guernsey in the Channel Islands. Common dolphins turned up in small groups in Orkney at Sanday and off the Eye Peninsula in the Outer Hebrides, as well as at the opposite end of the country in Devon and Cornwall, with up to 30 seen off Dartmouth Harbour on the 26th of January. An interesting winter sighting occurred in Pembrokeshire when six Rissos dolphins were recorded on the 19th of January at Porth Gain Beacon. A pod of 20 killer whales was spotted off Muckle in the Shetland Isles on the 22nd with a smaller group of five seen a week earlier off Shappensay in Orkney. The only baleen whale species reported during January was of two humpback whales off Muckle at the same time as the large pod of killer whales was seen. It's likely that there were large shoals of herring or mackerel in the area attracting these two species. So, despite the bad weather in many places, the waters around the British Isles continue to produce sightings with at least six species confirmed. Thanks for watching and remember to share with anyone who you think might be interested. Spread the word. Thanks a lot. Bye.